everyone, my name is Elaine, and today I'm going to be comparing two Unison League abilities. I've chosen to compare Feather Rain to Astrolabe, and these are both abilities that are unlocked in the Hawkeye or Sixth Ring of the Archer. Before I get into the video and why I'm comparing these two moves, I want to explain what they do. Feather Rain is usable only when a bow is equipped as your main weapon, it targets one enemy, and it has an ability power of 100. It deals magic damage that uses both attack and magic attack five times with a success value of 80. It has the added effect of removing debuffs from your character with a success value of 60. It has the ability to combo. The combo effect is its ability is boosted to 110, and when used after rapid fire or beautiful nature, it deals magic damage that uses both physical attack and magical attack five times with a success value of 100. Its added effect is that it increases the cost recovery speed of all allies by five for 20 seconds and removes debuffs from your character with a success value of 100. Astrolabe is a little different. It's usable when a gun is equipped as your main weapon. It targets one enemy with an ability power of 150. It deals physical or magic damage randomly five times that penetrates any nullifying. Okay, so just as an aside, damage nullifying effects are status buffs that are able to reduce either physical, magic, or both kinds of damage taken to zero for a set amount of times. And that's just from the wiki. Or invulnerability effects. So when you're not taking damage, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's usually represented by those little like blue hexagons and they kind of like shimmer around your character. You usually see them after a monster effect. So when someone throws them in unison league guild battles, for example. Its added effect is that it reduces target's cost by five. Like Feather Rain, this has the ability to combo with other moves. Its combo effect is that it boosts its ability power to 160. When used after Disarming Trap or Astrolabe, it deals physical or magic damage five times at random that penetrates nullifying and invincibility effects. Its added effect is that it reduces the target's cost by 10, so there's also a slight boost over the non-comboed version. Most people would agree that Astrolabe is the better of the two moves, but I feel like different situations call for different measures. So let's just talk over each of these moves and do an overall comparison. So if we're just talking about raw power, Astrolabe is better and more accurate. It doesn't have the 20% chance to miss, which Feather Rain has. Although the accuracy is increased during Feather Rain's combo, it doesn't compare to Astrolabe's ability power of 160 during a combo and constant 100% accuracy unless affected by a status ailment like Blind, for example. However, Feather Rain has the ability to remove debuffs, whereas Astrolabe does not. This is helpful in certain situations, such as quests where the monsters are constantly debuffing you, especially if you don't have a cleric with a move such as Arc Heal or Purification to clear these things away. Trying to use combos would be best if you plan to use this as part of your gaming strategy as it increases your success rate from 60 to 100. Also during combinations, Feather Rain increases the cost recovery speed of all allies by 5 for 20 seconds. This can be helpful in several different situations and I'm just going to go over a few now that I can think of off the top of my head. One would be during guild battle when the imposing team slows your cost recovery speed with something like a monster, for example, because it would, in effect, nullify this debuff. It can also be helpful in quests and during events such as Movius, where it's easy to run out of cost because it will help you gain it back faster so you can keep destroying those monsters. Now let's switch gears back to Astrolabe. In addition to its increased damage over Feather Rain, even when a combo has not been used, it has the ability to pierce through nullifying and or invulnerability effects. This is obviously useful in situations with pesky monsters and opposing guild members, for example. They think they're safe from your wrath, but they're not really. It is interesting to note that Astrolabe can combo with itself, which you don't see too often with moves in Unison League, and it can also combo with Disarming Trap. So it looks like the devs expected Astrolabe and its combos to be used in more damage dealing builds and builds designed to reduce opponent's damage output since Disarming Trap reduces its target's critical hit rate by 20% and critical hit damage ability power by 20 for 20 seconds. Well, Feather Rain looks like it was designed for a more conservative support and survivability build. And I say this mainly because of the Beautiful Nature combo, since Beautiful Nature increases the cost recovery speed of all your allies by 5 for 40 seconds and removes the status ailments of all allies, which is super helpful for players who don't bring clerics to clear status ailments such as poison and paralysis on quests. Unlike Feather Rain, Astrolabe has the ability to reduce target's cost by 5, 10 when used in combination. This isn't really helpful in PvE since monsters don't use cost the way players do, but it could be very helpful against other players, especially in situations where you're both low on cost and it's a fight to gain enough cost to kill the opposing player with your abilities. Since you could use this move with or without a combo to gain an advantage and hopefully KO them before they KO you. 
It is important to note that it's easier to equip and use Feather Rain than Astrolabe because there are more bows than guns in the game, but I think it's still clear that Astrolabe tends to be the better move of the two. With that being said, there are definitely situations where Feather Rain can be useful, more of a PvE setting against pesky mobs, for example, and I hope you all keep that in mind as you continue playing the game and becoming the best archers you can be. So there you have it. That is my move comparison of Astrolabe and Feather Rain, the two moves of the Six Ring Archer that you have to choose between, since you can only have a gun or a bow equipped in your main slot, allowing you to only choose one of these at a time. Do you agree with my analysis? Let me know down below in the comments. I really like to know if you think I got everything right or if I missed something really important here. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I'd really appreciate that. Let me know if you want to see me do more of these move comparison videos down below in the comments. If you have a favorite archer move, something from the sixth ring or earlier, I want to hear about that too. Also, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell so you know what's up, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone. Thanks everyone for watching this video. Please note that any corrections and or clarifications will be listed down below in the description section. And if you like what you saw here today, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd always like to know what you guys think down below in the comments. Also, hit that notification bell so you know what's up, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye guys!